What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bring you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Kilowattrel team that also features Iron Treads combo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my content. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to That's Plus One and his community for making this team and bringing it out for a rental code for us to use. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. If you guys want the Poke Pace, definitely go check out his channel and check out the video for showcasing this team. But we got Dragapult to get us started here with today's team preview. Love Dragapult, one of my favorite pseudo legendaries, especially because it's newer and its design is absolutely amazing. It's got Infiltrator alongside with the Life Orb as item, and its moveset is pretty cool with Phantom Force, U-Turn, Dragon Darts, and Sucker Punch. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Mousehold, a nice little support Pokemon for, for this team with the Friend Guard ability and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Super Fang, Follow Me, and Beat Up for a great moveset. Tinkaton is going to be our third Pokemon. Love this Pokemon, one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemons, at least definitely in my top 10 for Gen 9, with Clear Amulet and the Mold Breaker as its ability. It's got Fake Out, it's got Gigaton Hammer, Terror Blast, and Fake Out. I think we already mentioned Fake Out, but yeah, that's his moveset right there. Annihilate is rocking out in the fourth slot with Defiant and Leftovers as its item and ability. Rage Fist, Protect, Drain Punch, and EQ. Really liking that moveset for him. Kilowattrel is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and I absolutely love Kilowattrel. Super good on the competitive scene. Very fast Pokemon, very high special attacking at the same time. This Kilowattrel can be paired with the Iron Treads. Considering we have Discharge, I can shoot a Discharge across the board. If I have Iron Treads out there, it won't affect them, and it's basically just a free big time shot. This one has Wind Power alongside with Focus Sash, Thunderbolt, Tailwind, and Hurricane. And last but not least, like we already mentioned, Discharge for its fourth and final move. Iron Treads is going to be our sixth and final Pokemon for this team with Quark Drive and the Booster Energy as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Ice Spinner to take out the Reigns, EQ for big time stab damage, and then Body Press for a nice lovely coverage move. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Kilowattrel and Iron Treads team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a semi Trick Room team slash semi Tailwind team. They have Talon Flame to set up the Tailwind, and then they also have the Scream Tail to set up Trick Room. So this team can go either way. They also have Annihilate, Tinkaton, just like Guts, which is really, really cool, and the Brute Bonnet and the Rotom Wash. Who should I go into this one, and how should I lead? I kind of want to go into you, right? I definitely want to go into Kilowatch while trying to set up Tailwind. If they want to go for Trick Room, they can go for Trick Room. It's not that big of a deal. Do I go into Tinkaton of my own? It is a possibility. It definitely is a possibility. And I think I might. I think I might. I definitely want to check its speed real quick. It is 160 with speed boost. So if they really Tinkaton, we could definitely outspeed their Tinkaton, which could be really, really good for us. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to rock out with our Tinkaton. And then in the back end, I definitely want Iron Treads. And then Dragapult. Dragapult with Sucker Punch. Pretty fast Pokemon as well. Right? Its speed's got to be like in the 200s, right? Yeah, 207. That's lovely. Gotta be bringing in this Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I've been having a blast just recording for you guys. I don't know. As of recently, just been having so much fun waking up in the mornings, coming to my PC, recording for you guys and getting a video. Thank you guys so much for all the support, all the lovely comments, and everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. You guys are the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But uh, Tinkaton and Annihilate is going to come out here for the lead. I'm just going to fake out the Tinkaton. And I think I just set up a Tailwind, right? I could set up a Tailwind. I mean, we might die to, like, say, a Rage Fist or something, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. I could Terrasilize and just go in the ground, which would not be bad. I could ultimately just start, like, Terror Blasting. Do I Terrasilize in the ground? Actually, no. We, well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm just going to figure out the ticket down here. Let's save my Terrasilization. So he ends up with Joel and Annihilate. Good thing we saved our Terra. And who are you going to swap into is the real question. It's going to be Rotom. The Rotom Wash comes out on the field, and I can either swap into Iron Treads here or Terrasilize and just start throwing Discharge. And I'm thinking I'm going to Terrasilize this turn. I think now it's going to be the turn to Discharge. I got my Wind Power boosting me up. I'm loving this. I'm loving this because it just feels like free Discharge. I could actually Terrasilize you. I kind of want to do it. Let's go Kilowattle. I really like Kilowattle here. I'm gonna go Kilowattle, and you know what? I'm gonna just gonna hard swap into Iron Treads. I am just going to hard swap into Iron Treads, right? 
Makes the most sense. Yeah, I'm gonna hard swap an iron treads. We can have our Tinkaton in the back end with fake out yet again. And I can dodge this discharge. And at the same time, not have to terrestrialize Tinkaton. So I'm cool with that. Plus, I really want to uh terrestrialize this kilowatt. I really want to do that. Get that electric on it. It's got wind power powering through it. I like it. And we have a chance to get some powers, which could be big time. Quick drive's gonna boost here, which is lovely. That is going to boost our regular defense, which is going to be good up against Tinkaton, not up against the Rotom. But if Iron Tread survives, both my Pokemon survives, we can just do the combo. EQ Discharge, EQ Discharge, keep sending it that way. It's going to be really good, especially because we have speed as well. But we also have to watch out for Rotom. He has Levitate, but I don't think he's surviving two Discharges, right? Two Terrasilize Discharge with Wind Power as well. So Killer Watch will come out and about. And oh yeah, give me some Paras. Oh yeah, there's one. Show me lucky number two. Give me lucky number two. This charge has a high chance of paralyzing. So that ends up bringing this thing down to Citrus Barrier level, right? Yeah, and another Discharge will KO that thing, no problem. And Hydra Pump's gonna come after me, and we get the big time dodge. That's a lovely dodge. He's also going to Gigaton Hammer me, and double down into me. Which we're able to soak, not very effective. And this seems pretty free for us, right? Just easy Discharge into EQs. It seems absolutely free. So EQ into Discharge, he ends up withdrawing Tinkaton, and he's gonna go into it. So he wants to save his Tinkaton. You're gonna go into the Brute Bonnet, which is a really solid swap. But I could go for a Hurricane next turn if I want to. I could definitely go for a Hurricane next turn. He's gonna boost her energy and boost its attack. Okay, it does have Sucker Punch. I'm gonna have to watch out for that next turn, and I might hard swap the Kilowattle. I might hard swap the Kilowattle, because we know he wants to go for Sucker Punch. We know you want to go for Sucker Punch. Do I just drop a Tailwind for the heck of it? What is my play here? What is my play? Because this charge is going to fly here. Give me a para. Give me another para. Oh, baby. Kill the watcher with the paralyzes. So we have two Pokemon paralyzed here. EQ is going to fly. How much damage is it really going to do? How much damage are you really going to do? Like nothing. And oh my god, I KO'd my Kilowatt. I just realized that. I just realized I took my flying type off of him. That one hurts. <laughs> that one hurts. I just realized that. That really hurts. That I just took my flying type off him. And I thought he was flying type the whole time because he's just a bird flying near. Wow, that's that's embarrassing, but it'd be like that. It definitely be, be like that, but I'm gonna go into my Dragapult here. Lovely little Poltski. And how do we get after this one? How do we get after this one? Because I could just go for a Dragon Arts, I could go for a Phantom Force. I do like Phantom Force here in the Rotom. Huh? And then I could just protect this turn. So I like this. So protect comes out from the Iron Treads, and the reason I want to protect them this turn is because the Rotom might be dropping a Hydro Pump. And I'm going for a two-turn attack here. This could be really good for us. Let's see if the Hydro Pump is going to come out here. We're going to Phantom Force Dip. We are going to go into the Rotom slot. But, dude, I cannot believe I killed my Kilowatt. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Even though he got some work done. He did get some work done, which is awesome. The Tailwind's gone. Uh, speed is kind of on our side, right? Kind of on our side, right? What would do more damage? Are you spinner or body press? Higher def defense that is. Hmm. What would do more damage? What would do more damage? Let me see your stats. I know. Aren't you boosted on defense? Your defense is high. I'm gonna go for the body press. We're gonna see how much damage body press can do. Plus, our booster energy boosts his body press. Phantom Force comes in here, picks up the KO, no problem, onto Rotom. And I think Brute Bonnet might just take out my. My Dragapult here, right? If you're rocking a nice little dark move, but Body Press comes in hot here. That's a nice chunk of damage, and it's good to know that we outspeed that thing. It's just gonna spore me. Okay, so my boy's asleep. We still have Tinkaton in the back end, which is good. We have Iron Treads chilling here. They still have Terra. And I can definitely see them bringing out Tinkaton here, right? It could definitely be Tinkaton. Yeah, Tinkaton's gonna come out here. Now, the problem here is. Obviously, like, Protect would be our play. But I feel like they have to read the Protect, right? I feel like they have to read the Protect. I feel like they have to read it. I'm gonna Dragon Darts into that thing, and... I'll just Body Press. 
I don't think we protect. So you might not even fake me out. Just for a faint. He thinks I'm going to protect. I'm not, I'm not protecting. That's exactly why I did not go into the protect. Because the play seemed too obvious to just go into the, the protect here. Body press comes out here. Beautiful. Beautiful play from us. And we waste a turn to sleep. Huge play there. So yeah, it was pretty obvious that like I had the option to protect. So why not not do it? Like if he fakes me out, he fakes me out. It's no big deal. But we just outplayed him there. And Nightlife comes in here for its final Pokemon. And is this thing choice? I hope it's not choice. They can get real ugly. They can get real ugly. I really want to drop an EQ. I really want to drop an EQ. Uh, they still have Terra as well. But drop the EQ? I can't drop an EQ. I can just Ice Spinner this thing down. I'm hoping Dragapult can wake up here. This could be big time wake up if Dragapult does. Nope, he doesn't. And I'll EQ next turn if we're still alive. But it's good to know that we, we are faster than that uh, Annihilate, but I think Annihilate KOs is here with a Rage Fist. No, he goes for a Bulk Up. So Bulk Up comes out. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We can EQ next turn. Okay, I like this. <coughs> Phantom Force EQ. Gigaton Hammer coming out here. We're able to soak no problem. And yeah, let's just go Phantom Force. You should wake up here. I think my boy does wake up here, so this could, this could be a good turn from us. Especially if we do wake up. Three turns sleep could do me dirty. I'm really, really hoping that we just wake up, go into a nice lovely Phantom Force, and roll off from there. But he's going to end up Terrastalizing, which is pretty good for us because we can fake it out. And now EQ is super effective. Enough. That's solid. That's solid. That is solid. Wake up, Polsky. Beautiful. Perfect time to wake up. We're going into a Phantom Force. EQ should come out here, pick up a KO on the Tinkaton, and do some nice damage over onto Annihilate. I know it's bulked up, so I'm kind of scared of it. But still, we're chipping up some nice damage. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. And both my Pokemon outspeed him. That's huge for us. That is huge. And he goes for a Drain Punch. That kind of sucks because you get back a ton of HP. But I think we're sitting in a perfect spot to win this game now. I think we are, because I think EQ and Phantom Force can pick up the KO. Obviously going to give it a try. Obviously going to give it a try. But solid first match. We destroyed our Killer Watcher, which actually set us up really well. Did some work. Phantom Force can come out here, bring it down to low yellow, and EQ is going to come out here and clean up this match, no problem. Hopefully we don't kill my Dragapult here. Dragapult should be able to soak. So Dragapult soaks it up, Annihilate goes out. Match number one. Solid little match for you guys. We end up picking up that victory. We can hop into our second. Let's go back to back for you guys. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a Flutter Main and Iron Bundle team. This one could be a problem for us, right? Flutter Main and Iron Bundle, really, really powerful. They also have the Annihilate, Intimidate, Arcanine. And then they got Friend Guard, Mousehold, just like us. And Great Tusk. Hmm. How should I play this one? Because Flutter Main, again, such a big problem. Such a big problem. Ticketon could be pretty solid, but if they lead... The Arcanine, that could be a problem for us. That could definitely be a problem. I feel like we need some speed here. So I'm going to bring Kilowatcher for the lead. I could also go Tinkathon for the lead. Or I could go straight into you. I could go straight into these two. Which, I mean, wouldn't be too bad. Could still lead Tinkathon and maybe hard swap it if we need to. Or I could go pull and potentially U-turn out. What's your speed, Kilowatcher? Let me see your speed real quick. 194. I think Dragapult might be able to outspeed. Actually, no. It's not going to outspeed a Deli Bird. Hmm. Tough news. Tough news. I'm going to go into you. I'm going to go into Tinkathon. I can always hard swap Tinkathon out. Uh, I think I bring Iron Treads and I bring Pult. So is this going to be same squad? I believe it is. I mean, you wouldn't be bad, but the problem is just such a problem. What's your Terra type? Ground? I mean, that's not bad. We could save it. What's your Terra type? Fairy. Ooh. Not the bad. You know, we're going to go pull. We got a fairy terror type. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But yeah, I was going to bring the Annihilate, but I just feel like the fairy terror type's a bit better, especially because they have Deli Bird, say a Terrestrial in the ground. He's going to rip me with a Hydra Pump or a, or a Freeze Dry. Just take me out, no problem. So not trying to deal with that. We'll go into the pull. That's a better terror type if we want to opt into using it or using that terror type. But Mousehold Annihilate combo is going to come out here. We got Kilowatch and Tinkathon. Uh, I can just fake that thing out real quick and set up a Tailwind here as well. Set up a lovely little Tailwind. Or oh, I can go for Hurricane. We're going to set up Wind Power first. Four moves. I'm going to fake out. And I'm just going to go into a Tailwind. So I wonder if this thing's going to bulk up. That's a real question. Kind of hoping it's just going for like a punchy move or something. Straight into Tinkathon. Because Tinkathon dies. Tinkathon dies. And he's going to Terra into 
ghost, aren't you? Don't do me like that. Okay, cool. It's annihilate. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. He's gonna go straight into steel. Little steel type action. Little steel type boy right there. Big Out's gonna come out of here. And we're just clapping up some damage on the mouse hold. Hopefully it's not Cobra Cloak. And we can roll out strong. Because we don't want the whole like beat up combo coming in here and taking me down. So Wind Power's gonna charge us here. He's not Cobra Cloak. That's big time. And this thing is just gonna go for a Rage Fist into me. So he's going for the beat up combo and just Rage Fist in my Pokemon. Not about that. And from here, you know what? This seems like a perfect time to just discharge. And Terra Blast this thing, right? Terra in the ground, just Terra Blast it. Because if we get rid of his Trasalization with our Trasalization, I will really like that. But we might not be able to. Because if he goes for a Follow Me, ooh, that could be a problem. I'm kind of hoping he's not going for a Follow Me. I'm kind of hoping he's just beating up and everything. And at that point, we could just take out his Annihilate. So no Follow Me's. None of that. Mousehold protects even better. Even better. We'd like that turn. We love that turn. We love that turn. So Discharge is going to pop here. It's not going to affect my ground type uh, Tinkaton, which is beautiful. And we chip up some nice damage. And the Terra Blast is going to fly. The Terra Blast out and about. This should KO. This should KO. My girl Tinkaton. My girl Tinkaton getting some work done. We have speed, but we don't have Terrasalization. So Flutter Main is in this back end. Could be a little scary, but maybe we get a Paralyze with the Discharge. Because Discharges are just free right now. They are absolutely free, which I love. And here comes the Flutter Main, which we're going to outspeed because of Tailwind. The Flutter Main's out and about. I could Gigaton Hammer the thing. I'm going to Gigaton Hammer whoever, whoever this is going to hit, right? I'm going to Gigaton Hammer whoever this is going to hit. So I'm going to double down on the Flutter Main. Follow me just come out here, and that's what I expected from them. But this charge is still going to hit Flutter Main, which I really like. Is this charge coming in higher? Can we land a nice little Paralyze on our Flutter Main? Wow, that Flutter Main soaked. That Flutter Main soaked really well. Gigaton Hammer takes out the Mouse Hold. And I can't use it again, which is it's a problem. That's a problem. Gleam's going to fly here. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That Flutter Main ate that up no problem. So he's gonna go into his final Pokemon, and it's bundled. We have speed for a little bit. Double protects might come out here, which could be a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm trying to think of ways I can do this. Because how many turns left in Tailwind? It's one. So I could definitely see protects coming out here. So I'm just gonna discharge. And I'm gonna swap Tinkathon just so we have fake out for later. And do I bring in you? Or do I bring in the treads? This is tough. This is tough because he has so much, like, power on me right now. I think we just bring in the treads. That's our pole, man. I think we go in the treads. I think double protect does come out here. If it doesn't, I would love it not to. I would I would love it to not. No protects come out here and let me land his discharge. So we'll see. I think double protect does come out here. I'm going to swap into Iron Treads here. Any Protects coming out here? No Protects. We like that. We like that. We love that. I think you just gave me the win. I think they just gave me the win. By not checking out the Tailwind Terms. Because they don't protect. They have a huge chance to win this match. Because just think, they take speed. If they double protect, they take speed all day. Dazzling Gleam, they could Dazzling Gleam next turn, take out my Kilowatt. A Hydro Pump would have taken out my, uh, would have taken out my Treads. And then it would have been a 2v2 with these two Pokemon. Would have happened like that. And with that, he could just Dazzling Gleam taken out probably both my Pokemon. That would have, my ticket on low HP and my Dragon Bolt cannot eat it up. And we don't have Terror to change. But from here, I'm just going to go for a nice LV Sucker Punch. Stuff as much damage as I can, and we outspeed him now. And I'll just guess I'll just ice spinner. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hit my dragon pole. But battle was canceled. We take that dub all day. Two and zero. Oh. Let's get it. Final match coming at you guys. We are dominating so far with this Killer Watchel squad. We're going up against a T-Tar team with 
Talonflame, and then they also have Mousehold, Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, which again is going to be a problem. And then Great Tusk as their final Pokemon. Kilowattro, you're my dog. I'm bringing you again. I love Kilowattro. Haven't used it in a good bit, and I'm again, I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. It's legit like the electric Talonflame. They look the same, pretty much the same, right? One's like Seagullish, and the other's Eaglish. So. I think they're cool. I definitely think they're cool. Who else should we lead with Kilowattro? It could be Tinkaton again. I mean, Tinkaton's not bad. I kind of like the fake out. I kind of like terrestrializing the ground if we need to. I like the fairy typing. I like the steel typing here as well. I'm with it. I, I, I dig it. I dig it. So I'm going to go into them too. Um, we do need something to take out Waterman. We don't really have too much to do that. What we got with you? We got Razors. I'm going to bring Annihilate here. I like Annihilate. Might have to save my tarot for that. I definitely might have to save my tarot for that. And then last but not least, treads or pull? More attack power. We definitely need some more attack power. Uh, Pult's going to be good up against most besides Fluttermane. And Fluttermane's a problem. But I'm going to go pull. We got, the, we, got the, we got the life orb on him. He's very fast. You can't go wrong with Dragon Ball. You really can't go wrong with Dragon Ball. Except for up against Fluttermane. <laughs> it's its only problem in Series 2. That's why you're seeing less of like Garchomp and all that, like the dragon types, because Flutter Mane's a problem. Like you saw Garchomp dominate Series 1. Once Series 2 came around, Flutter Mane just outspeeds it and just dumps on it, no problem, one shot. It's just a problem. But he's going to end up going into these two, and yeah, I'm just going to fake out the mouse hold, and I'm going to set up a tail. We need a little bit of speed here. It just seems like a simple play here. I could... I'm just going to rip this thing. Nah, we'll rip it next turn. We'll rip it next turn. We're just going to make sure fake out. Because he can follow me. I mean, he can follow me next turn, but... Yeah, I was just going to rip it that turn. And predict a protect here. Which I probably should have done, right? I probably should have done it. Oh, he just went to all Slutter Man. Okay, so even better. So this is just a free turn from us. We're going to fake out. He's going to swap into the Tatar. The Tatar comes out here. Rock is looking a little scary. I might have to swap my Kilowattro. But I can also Gigaton Hammer that thing. That's what does end up protecting. Wow, we could've just gigaton that thing. Could've just giggit it. Could've just said, see you later. So we get off a free Tailwind. Uh, the real question is, is that thing gonna go for a follow me next turn? So I'm thinking of just swapping. I could swap it to Annihilate. That would be good. That would be a good swap. Once again, Kilowatch was not, he's, he's not doing too much. Like, look at that Hurricane. Discharge, I mean, Discharge isn't bad. Could just Thunderbolt. Which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double down into Citar. I'm gonna try to get rid of this thing. Mouse <laughs> does go for the follow me. I'm a little upset. <laughs> I should have swapped, but it's all good. Maybe we get a paralyze here. Oh wow, that's some dude, wind power does a lot of damage. Kick time hammer's gonna bounce here. He's obviously going to go for the uh the rock slide. Maybe we dodge it. We have a chance of dodging it. Nope, and we probably die here, right? Yeah, Kilowattro out for the count. We cannot use Gigaton Hammer again this next turn, which kind of sucks. So do I still bring out the Annihilate? Or do I bring out, like, you? And you turn into the Annihilate. And if I go into you, he's obviously going to go into a Flying Terror. So I really don't want to show my Annihilate. I'm going to go in the Pult. I'm going to go in the Pult right now. I am going to go in the pool. I'm going to U-turn into Annihilate if I can. Because I don't think he terrestrializes. Great Tusk going to come out here. Looking a little scary. Um, I could protect. But yeah, I definitely want to U-turn into you. And I might just protect you. I'm just going to protect you. I don't think T-Tar terrestrializes just yet. It's got to be the Tusk. Oh no, it's going to be T-Tar just so we can fly. Yeah. The T-Tar's going to fly right now. And he's going to be able to drop free EQs. That's terrifying, but we'll deal with it. <clears throat> We're going to have to deal with it. So, Protect comes out from my Tinkathon. It's going to be a tough one here. Great Tusk seems like it's going to get some work done, but we got to use our turns in the Tailwind. Oh, and Tusk actually protects here, so this is a solid U-turn, actually. I'm with this U-turn. A little bit of U-turn action. Pivoting out here, doing not too much damage, and now bringing out the Rage Fist boom. The lovely little rage. We get you out here. I kind of want him to hit me just so Rage Fist can do more damage. And I think we have Talon for like one more turn. Assurance comes out here. There's mm, mm, that's fine. 
I can deal with that. I thought it was super effective at first. I always think that the dark moves are super effective, but we have fighting type with us. The leftover is going to help us out a little bit here. Uh, do I rage fist? I kind of just want to double down on you. I could drain punch. What would do more damage? Hmm. I mean, we'll get back some HP this way. I kind of just want to double down into the same. I still have Terra, but I don't really want to Terra due to, like, Rockside coming in. He might Terra Blast me. I could Terra in the ground just so we soak up a shot. I'm going to save my Terra. I'm going to save my Terra. I'm going to Gigaton Hammer. Deal some nice damage. And how much is Drain Punch going to do? Drain Punch does not KO. Thought it would do a little bit more damage than that. We get some HP back. We have leftovers coming here. Eat. We know Tinkaton's dead. And actually, you might be dead too. Annihilate might be dead here too. Yeah, I think we're dead. I think this thing's ripping with Terra Blast. Mmm. Hurts the soul. Are you Terra Blasting? Yeah. Probably should have Terra one of my Pokemon there, but... Mmm. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Looks like this one's going to be an L. It definitely looks like this one's going to be an L. Unless my boy... Unless my boy right here, Dragapult, can KO with a Dragon Darts, right? We know we have speed. I mean, I could go into a Phantom Force here. The KO... The KO to Tusk. Which I think I have to, right? I mean, what other Pokemon do you have in the back of? They have three Pokemon left. <laughs> they have three. I mean, who could you swap into here? It's Fl it's Fluttermane, right? Or do we KO the Fluttermane? No, we KO the, uh, KO the Mouse one. So they do have Fluttermane. So yeah, Phantom Force is going to be in my play. I'm going to Phantom Force right into the Tusk slot. I'm dipping for this turn. We're going to see how this one plays out here. Because I still have the Fairy Terra. I still have the Fairy Terra. I'm saving. I'm saving for a sneaky moment up against this Fluttermane. Saving it for a little sneak action. Phantom Force says bye bye to you. He's just gonna insurance me. Dead, aren't we? <laughs> We're dead, aren't we? I was saving it for a sneaky moment. Maybe we could dodge something like that. Nah, we're dead on that. You know, we we used up all of our domination in match numbers one and two. Match number three. I didn't play that hot there. Did not play that hot, hot. Didn't really think out my turns, but it's all good. Two and one. Grab yourselves a lovely winning record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another winning record for the channel, and I absolutely love this team. Not a bunch of meta Pokemon on it. Bunch of decent Pokemon that were fun to use on the rank ladder. Got to use Kilowatcho a lot. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Haven't used it in a while, though, but it absolutely showed out. Discharges were ripping left and right, dropping some nice lovely paralyzes, and then he had the Iron Treads following in with that combo, and then the other Pokemon helping out on top of that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.